Now we can access the articles that a user has created and we did that by using the hasMany function inside the user model. Time to see the inverse of one to many. To get a better idea of how this works, let's create a new controller with an index function that will display all the articles and for each article it will display the owner. So create a new controller, let me move to my workspace, docker compose exec workspace bash. So php artisan make controller articles controller. I will open the controller, I will create the function index, I will create also the route for this, route get articles, articles controller at index. Let's also create a view to display all of the articles. I will copy the one inside the index that we have, but I think that the name of this blade file here is not appropriate, so I will rename this to show. And I will change my controller, the article user controller, to show, show, and also the web file, this now should be show. Okay, let's see if this works as it used to be. So if I go to user with ID 1, we get the articles. User with ID 2, yeah, it still works. Okay. Now inside the articles controller, let's get all the articles and pass them to the index blade file. So articles equals to article all. You probably want to use pagination for index, but I will not bother with that because we already learned how to do it. So return view articles dot index and we pass the articles. And of course we have to create the view for this. Index dot blade dot php and paste the content from the show. All right. If I go to articles, we should get all the articles, and we do. So the idea is to use the inverse relationship of one to many to get the owner of each article. For the inverse, open the article model, so let me close all of them, and I will just open article. And the idea is that if a user has many articles, then an article belongs to a user. So create a new function, call it user, and it will return this belongs to user class. So again, uh, let me open the user model. So if a user has many articles, then an article belongs to a user. Now inside the index, when we loop through each article, we want to get the owner of the article. And you know what? Uh, I will change user to owner. And I think this is a much, you know, it, this is a better uh, name for this function. It is more appropriate. However, suppose we want to get the owner next to the title. So if I, if I try to call article owner and I go back, you will see that this is empty. So let me add a couple of parentheses. Okay. You can see that inside parentheses, this is empty. So we do not get the owner. So how can we make this work? Because we said that we can call our functions whatever we want. And here there is a catch because user, actually user, if we name this user, you can see that this will work. We get the user object. Once again, if I rename this back to owner, it doesn't. So there is a catch. Laravel uses conventions. And now that we are calling this relationship owner, we need to specify the foreign key that we have inside the article table. So the foreign key inside the article table is user ID. So 
I will specify here the foreign key user ID. And this is the convention that Laravel uses. So if we call this user, then there is no need to specify the foreign key because the foreign key is already user ID. Now that we changed this to owner, we need to specify the foreign key because the foreign key is not owner ID, but user ID. So now that we have specified the foreign key, now that we call the owner here, if I go back to this, we get the user object. So all I need is the name of the owner. So let's get the name. If I go back to this now, we get the name of the owner. So I will format a bit the output. I will have the title and the name of the owner in paragraphs like that. And also the style will be color red. Okay, let's take a look. Now it looks better. And we can also have a buy. So buy, buy this user. Excellent. Thank you.